Miss Transformers 96 here with another video. I'm going to be talking about some more stuff from New York Comic Con 2017. This time we have the Diamond Select booth. Um, I'm only going to be talking about the actual their seven-inch line figures uh, in this video, though. Um, and as you can see, they did show five figures, although one of them I believe has been previously shown. But these are very exciting, and they're all kind of from a different, you know, uh, form of media, basically, which is very cool. It's not like they're all just from the same wave or something. So that is exciting. Uh, for First of all, we have Lady Deadpool. I believe that this one's been shown before, but uh, some of these accessories might be new. This looks like a nice figure. Uh, the proportions in the arms look very skinny. I know they're trying to do like a woman body sculpt here, but it doesn't look quite right. Uh, I love the hair though. There's a lot of expression there, and I think it looks like a solid figure. The base is a little, little lame <laughs> in my opinion. It's just kind of like a, a metal piece, you know? Usually their bases are a little bit more in inventive than that. She does come with um, head pull though, which is very very cool and that looks really nice and then she has a uh like a rocket launcher bazooka there that looks very cool um, so it looks like a nice figure I don't know if I necessarily need this one though if she comes with any other accessories that aren't pictured here maybe I consider it um, but just like this I don't know if I'm too interested in this uh, but it looks nice I mean for big fans of Deadpool and you know there's so many of you uh, this is definitely gonna be an exciting one and then they did also have the destroyer uh, pictured right there I did just purchase that one today actually so I'm uh, I'm looking forward to getting that uh, here because I purchased it online as you can see, a little closer look at that base. The base is just so plain for Diamond Select. Usually they, uh, their standard is a little higher than that. Um, then we have Spider-Man from Spider-Man Homecoming. This looks like an excellent figure. First of all, his size, he does look smaller. He definitely doesn't look uh, like the tall, skinny one that they did for Andrew Garfield Spider-Man. This definitely looks more in, in, uh, in line with Tom Holland's proportions. And it, it looks wonderful. It looks so much better than Marvel Legends. And uh, it, looks, it looks like an excellent representation representation of his suit from this new movie. The colors are very nice. They're they're very bright, but at the same time they have a lightness to them. And as you can see, he does have a slew of hands. I really hope that he comes with some more accessories though. I, I definitely want a base. I think that, you know, uh, Diamond Select is so great uh, for their bases. It's just, it's it's something that they do that most companies don't, so it really helps uh, set them aside and uh, makes them different and special. Um, but this is looking like a nice figure. I also, I want a Tom Holland head sculpt, of course. I really hope he has that. If, if this one comes with the Tom Holland head sculpt, I think that I'd definitely pick it up. Uh, without it, though, I'm still going to think about it because, you know, I'm going to get other versions of Spider-Man, so I don't necessarily know if I need this one. However, what I do really need is a Diamond Select Vulture. That would be amazing, and, uh, and you know, obviously with Vulture, he doesn't need to come with a base, and therefore he can have the massive wings. That would be super sweet. Uh, they did, you know, uh, uh, they did Lizard for Amazing Spider-Man 1. However, they neglected to do uh, Electro from Amazing Spider-Man 2, and uh, they've really kind of like stopped doing villains um, in the in the recent years, which is disappointing. So my fingers are so crossed for Vulture. However, I doubt we'll get it. But if we do get it, I'm gonna go insane. That's for sure. So I uh, really hope that that's the case. But that Spider-Man is looking excellent, really nice. And it says summer of 2017 is the release date, and the articulation also looks really great as well. You know, it's basically. Um, Diamond Select Standard, closer image of Lady Deadpool. Then we have uh, uh, Spider-Gwen. This is very exciting. Uh, this looks very nice and uh, completely new. I, I definitely wasn't expecting it. Her base is very cool. I definitely like the element base. The destroyed robot on the base. I'm not quite sure what that is. Um, if you guys know, I would definitely uh, like to know. And as you can see, they do have a second head sculpt for her. Um, I'm confused as to if we're actually going to get like another torso to interchange. I seriously doubt it though. I think that that's just to kind of like show us what it looks like on a torso. Um, but I think that just the, uh, the, the head itself is what we're going to get. And also the, um, uh, the folded down um, hoodie. So, you know, uh, that is nice. I'm definitely glad that you do get the Gwen Stacy head sculpt. And she comes with two interchangeable hands. Hopefully she has some more, like, webbing uh, accessories. But this does look like a nice figure. I'm not going to pick it up because also at Toy Fair, Revel Tech showed their Spider-Gwen, which, and I'm a huge Revel Tech fan, so I'd much rather get that one. But this one still looks very nice. Then we move over to... So get through. There's a closer look. That that um, that Gwen Stacy head sculpt's not looking great. I like the fact that they tried to add some expression to it. However, it's not the best likeness. Uh, it, it looks a bit mannish, to be quite honest, um, which is disappointing. But as you can see, very cool base. I like that. 
Then we have Star Lord. Star Lord is looking really nice. I'm liking this a lot. I was very surprised and disappointed when they didn't do any figures for the first Guardians of the Galaxy, so it's great to see them doing it for this one. And uh, this Star Lord is looking excellent. I definitely like the the helmet a lot. I think that the clothing, the colors are really nice in the clothing, uh, and uh, they really are a great representation of what he looks like in the in the film. Um, I really hope he comes with a Peter Quill head sculpt, and I would imagine he will. And he'll he'll also come with Rocket Raccoon. It's disappointing that they don't have him on display here, um, but it is nice to know that he's going to come with Rocket, and uh, that's going to be an excellent set. Hopefully they'll come with some sort of base, although because he comes with Rocket, they might neglect doing the base. Uh, but I think that that looks excellent, and that that's going to be one that I definitely plan to pick up. They also um, have shown, or, or they've basically just announced um, Drax. He wasn't at this uh, display, unfortunately, um, but they are doing Drax, and Drax is going to come with Baby Groot, so the only member of the core core team for Guardians of the Galaxy that's not being done or hasn't been confirmed uh, from from Select is Gamora. Hopefully we'll get a Gamora figure. It would be great if they did like a two-pack without a base or anything uh, that came with like Gamora and Nebula, the sisters. That would be really nice. Um, but I really hope that they do continue this line because I'd love to get Gamora, Nebula, Mantis, you know, that would be great. Looking really nice. I, do, I really like the bright uh, blue on the eyes as well. Really makes it pop. And then we've got to scroll down a bit to get to the last one. The last one being the most interesting, I'd say. It's the um, uh, it's the Netflix version of Dead or Daredevil, which is super cool. Really excited about this here. Um, you know, obviously, I, the Netflix shows from Marvel have been really great, and I've really wanted merchandise from them, and we've just never gotten any, basically. So it is awesome to now get, at this toy fair, to see not only a Marvel Legends Daredevil, but now a Marvel Select one, which I had no idea was in the pipeline. Uh, so that is very cool. This looks like a tremendous figure. I'm really liking it quite a lot. I, I love the deep colors of Select. Uh, they really, they know how to paint their figures, at least the prototypes, because um, that looks excellent. I also love the boots. They look really natural. I love the detail on them, and then I like the fact that it has, like, dirt on it. I think that looks excellent. And then you get a um, uh, Matt Murlock. Matt Murlock. Wait, Matt? What? Why can't I think of his last name? That's not sounding right to me. Maybe it is right. I don't know. But uh, you've got um, his uh, secondary head sculpt, which I think is great. Um, that's something that Marvel Legends most likely won't do, so it, that's going to be another thing that's going to make this better. He obviously comes with those two, like, baton things. I don't know what you call those, nunchuck type things. Um, and then he has a base, as you can see, which is quite nice. I love the fact that he comes with a base. It, the only thing is, I don't quite know what this is. Uh, all that I can think of it is, I think that it is the elevator um, door, like in that in the, uh, in that in that warehouse or whatnot. Um, I think it's episode, like, four of season two, where there's a tremendous fight um, that starts at a uh, at an elevator and it, it goes throughout like the entire building it goes down hallways and and, uh, and staircases and things it's an incredible fight one of the best choreographed fights um, I've seen in years I truly loved it so the only thing I can think of is that that is the elevator where that fight starts I'm not 100% sure uh, so you know I assume that this is like that you can't s this is uh, an open piece uh, considering I think that that's the you know the banner in the background so uh, that would make sense that, that would be the elevator like shaft way but that that's a very cool display and I'm glad that he comes with it looking like a fantastic figure and I really hope that this means that we will get more um, Netflix show figures figures from Diamond Select. I'd love them to do the the core team, basically the, the defenders, Jessica Jones, um, Luke Cage, and uh, and Iron Fist. That would be fantastic. And if they wanted to dive into the villains, I'd be even more happy. So there you go. That's my thoughts on the Diamond Select figures um, shown at New York Comic Con or New York Toy Fair 2017. These are looking like great figures. Diamond Select doesn't do many figures a year, but the figures that they do do are quite quality. Uh, they're they're quite good for, uh, as far as quality goes. So Diamond Select is a, always a great uh, toy company to look out for. So there you go. Well, let me know what you guys think of these figures, and thanks so much for watching.